nearly one in four seniors in Metro Vancouver lives below the poverty line. When seniors suffer from low income, frailty, and isolation, we all lose. I was facing surgery. It was causing me a lot of stress. And I didn't know who else to turn to. Homelessness for those over 55 increased by 24% between 2005 and 2008. Val McDonald, executive director of the Senior Services Society, has worked tirelessly for over 20 years to strengthen our region's network of senior services. What struck me was how important it was to recognize each person as an individual, not an old person, as an individual with a past, a present, and still a future. McDonald played a key role in an innovative project called Temporary Housing for Seniors at Risk of Homelessness. Our agency rents single one-bedroom apartments or bachelor suites, furnishes them, and makes them available to seniors who are homeless until we can help them or they can find appropriate long-term housing. The project illustrates her skills in creating partnerships. Thank you to the real estate and development industry in Vancouver and the United Way. We are working towards developing 20 units of temporary housing, of fully furnished apartments um, at rent geared to income. It's a, a, a vital program and it's looking quite successful. I don't feel like I have to worry about that. It feels more stable, so that really helps. Supporting seniors' independence and participation in everyday life means a more vibrant community for everyone. We still remember the little boy and the little girl, the mother, the grandmother, the person who's contributed to this community and making their life and the end of their life as comfortable and as dignified as possible. Mm -hmm.